Why is Iron Maiden obsessed with the devil? In order to find out, we'll be watching a live performance of Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast, recorded back in 1982. That's roughly 6.66 million years ago. Now, Iron Maiden's song Number of the Beast begins by quoting a scripture verse from the Bible. Revelation 13, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For the number is that of man, and his number is 666. Now, if you want to write more evil music like Iron Maiden, check out my music theory course way down below in the description. Don't worry if you don't have any background or musical training. It starts you off from square one with the basics of understanding the instrument that we know as the guitar, fretboard knowledge, basic music theory. And then it progresses gradually into more complicated subject matter like counterpoint, excels, negative harmony, exotic slash erotic scales and how to sound more wicked and evil in your riffs so sign your soul away to me lord shred and grab it for 75 percent off below in the description right now now according to songfacts.com the number of the beast was written by iron maiden's bass player steve harris now according to steve the song was influenced by the 1978 movie damien omen 2 which is about a 13 year old antichrist how about that he was 13 years old a very unlucky number and also the bible verse was revelation 13 and the number 18 is six plus six plus six very interesting Anyways, basically, the reason Iron Maiden is obsessed with the devil is because it makes a good story. A deal with the devil, also called a Faustian bargain, is a cultural motif exemplified by the legend of the Faust and the figure of Mephistopheles, as well as being elemental to many Christian traditions. According to traditional Christian belief about witchcraft, the pack is between a person and the devil or another demon trading a soul for diabolical favors, which vary by tale, but tend to include youth, knowledge, wealth, fame, and power. Okay, so with that in mind, let's get the cans of power on, and we're going to check out Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast live back in 1982, 6.66 million years ago. Here we go. Whoa. For the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. There it is. I left you alone. My mind was blank. I was blank. D, we're in the key of D here. Goes down a whole step. Fantasy. Second guitar. There's Steve Harrison. Beats. And those some tight ass pants. That's how Bruce gets so high. He's castrating himself through tight pants. Oh, yeah. Now that's a satanic scream. The band's in. Here we go. Wow, Bruce sounds incredible. But that's the number of the beast. Man, the boys are just killing it here. First two.
fires are burning bright. Satan's work is done. Sacrifice is going on tonight. Tonight. Okay, now we were in a major key before, but now we're in a minor key. So we did a parallel modulation D minor. Saddest of all keys. <laughs> Solo. Iron Maiden souls are so tasteful. Bridge. Listen to Steve Harris's bass, just powerful thumping. <laughs> it's like D.A. Olean sound now. Flat seven, flat uh, or flat six to flat seven at the end there, really good. The fans are digging it. Followers of the beast. Was it just a crazy dream? A mesmerized. <laughs> Dynamic rubber just a little bit. Triple six energy here. I have the power to make my evil take its course. Good composition right there. Now, I'm curious, down in the comments below, let me know why you think not just Iron Maiden, but metal music in general is obsessed with the devil. Honestly, I think to have compelling storyline content, you need to have two opposing forces. You have to have good and bad. Every culture on earth has their own iteration of this concept, like the Chinese with the yin and the yang. One can't exist without the other. Now shred that subscribe button, and if you want to make a Faustian bargain with me, the devil, Lord Shred, sign up to my Patreon page below. That gives you access to all of my YouTube lessons, tabs, PDF files, guitar profiles, backing tracks, all of my courses, every infernal creation I've ever made. Now until next time, my friends, stay evil. <laughs>